Hello there, and welcome to another The Hunter Classic Mission video. My name is Wimperman, and in this video I'm going to be tackling the very last mission I have to do, the tenth mission of the Pickabean Bay Travel Missions mission, which is entitled Go Map the Coast or something. In this mission, the objectives are uh, using any traditional bow Take one of each of the species that are here on Pickabean Bay, including a flying magpie goose. The location objectives, obviously I've already done the first one, and that's start at Ruingong Lodge, which is there. Then I have to go up north to the Tributary. Then it's up to Dog's Secret Spot. Then it's to the pocket, which is there, followed by the plateau, which is there, St. Paul is lighthouse, and then I have to end up, which will probably just be a fast travel to be honest, at Cicada Cove Lodge, which is down there. Now, the route I'm going to take. Y yeah. So, here's why it's a bit complicated. The, um, the bow kill on the magpie goose. So I've already done one when I did the magpie goose missions. And it's this one. No working furries. I mean, it was a compound bow, but either way, it was a bow. Now, it's been a couple of years, but I'm absolutely positive that this setup down here is the one that not only I used, but I put it there and laid it out in that fashion specifically for bowing the magpie geese. So I'm going to have to end up there at some point. <laughs> but, I mean, not just because it's the last objective, but because it's also the most difficult. I'm going to leave it to last. <laughs> so I'm... I'm actually now thinking I don't need to worry about putting it in the route. I'll just come back here at some point. Probably spawn at the tent on a new hunt, you know. But that's where I will be for that kill. So the rest will just be pretty obvious, I think. So I'll go down here, cross there near this setup, but I won't use it. Uh, follow the river up to the tributary, the tributary. Uh, should I cross here or up there? I think it's probably best to cross here, actually, and then go via that ground blind to get to Dog's spot. Then I think it'll be, like previously, a fast travel to this tent. So that I can then walk up to the pocket. Uh, by the way, devs, just in case any devs are watching, we have to go to the edge during these travel missions, which is here, once. In one mission, we're sent to the edge. And in three missions, we're sent to the pocket. Now, I would suggest that the edge isn't necessary then. So I think we should either get rid of the edge and send the players here again during that one mission that would have sent them here, or perhaps send us to the edge instead of the pocket for one. Like this mission, for example. We could easily go to the edge instead of the pocket. But yeah, it just seems silly. We go there once and then that's it. <laughs> anyway, right, so fast travel there, go to the pocket, um, yeah, and then it'll just be, I'll, I'll walk this, jump down the cliff, <laughs> probably that sort of area-ish I shall walk, and then, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll probably either fast travel to the lodge, or maybe spawn at it in a new hunt, I would think that would work, yeah, you would have th thought so, think so, you would have think so, thunk, you would have thunk so. Oh, yeah, equipment. So, I'm bringing the 405 again, as I have been in the last few episodes, because I bought it in one of the videos, and now I'm trying to level it up. 
Um, yeah, a again, the no scope seems to be okay. I mean, it's a little bit of a nuisance, but it's okay. In my pocket, I have the 50 inline muzzle loader for the uh, roosters. I, again, I'm still trying to level that up to level 5. And then I've brought the recurve bow, which I know is definitely counted in the traditional bows, because in the traditional bow missions, it is even named recurve bow. And I'm bringing it over the uh, cable back and the long bow, because as you can see by this performance chart here, the long bow and the cable back are the yellow ones at the front. And then the recurve is the grey one behind it. The grey pillars. And up to about 20-25ish 20, metres it will outperform those other two. And that's why I'm bringing it. Because I know I'm going to be obviously having to take out the Banteng, the Buffalo and the Hog with this thing. So I think that extra power I'm going to need. Right, so there we go. That's everything I need to talk about. So I'll make my way over the tributary, and if I see something towards the mission, I shall bring you back. Well, didn't get far. Over on the red dot there was the call of a uh, water buffalo bull. So I'm going to go say hello to him with my bow and arrow. We'll see if we can check off one of the objectives. So, other side of the river... which might be a bit of a problem. We'll see which way he's going, but I won't be able to just run at him. I suppose I might be able to dodge out the way. It might be good for content. Maybe try and engage him in the river. You might watch me get knocked down, maybe. Maybe you'll see me get a bit wet. Maybe I'll fall in the water, maybe. Yeah. Oh, I think I see him, yeah. Yeah, over there. Oh, he's noticed me already. Maybe I won't engage him in the water. I will try and cross the water first. Annoyingly, he is moving away. Ooh, another one. Yeah, it was. So I'm going to get across the water and then I'm going to charge the bull. Okay, here we go. See if we can find him. Hello, buffalo. There's one. Not sure if this is the first one I heard and then spotted. Uh, I think it might be. Oh, and there's another one up there. That might be interesting. There was a, I think that was a rooster. Hello. Yeah, he's looking round at me. Okay. <laughs> Bollocks! He dodged the trees. <laughs> right, now. Oh, he didn't go very far at all. I, I think if I charge him again, he's going to flee rather than charge back. So I'm going to follow him crouch for a little bit. But I think all of that caused the other one to spook. The one that I saw up on this ridge. Oh. Hello. In the head. <laughs> oh. That was the second one.
Okay. Oh, I believe the first one is over there. No, that's a bit of land. Where did it go? Ran this way, didn't it? I mean, the, the first one, I mean, that one, second one, oh, I'm confused now. First or second, the one I've just arrowed should die. But if we can get another chance with the first guy, I might as well take it, but I can't see him. Let me put a flag down, let me, I'm going to put a flag, flag down on this blood. So I can come back to it at some point. I'll continue looking for the first guy. Uh, okay, flag. Well, it doesn't look like the first guy. The one that knocked me over came this way. Oh. That's the point. How am I? Oh, I got one left. Okay. <laughs> I shall bear that in mind. Uh, I can't see where the first guy went. So I'm just going to see if I can track this guy. Who that? It's a female. I mean, if I can drop her, she'll do. The mission doesn't say it has to be a male. Okay. So it looks like they roughly ran along the same route, give or take. A meter or two. Yeah, I think what I'll do is wherever I, th these guys take me, I'll fast travel back to the lodge, get the first aid kits and stuff. Ooh. That. That's a new buffalo. Uh, and that's a banting. I need you as well. Fucking body again. But at this rate, Pickabean Bay is going to be littered with... Well, maybe not even littered. They, they, they might not even die from those wounds. I mean, I'm, surely the guy with the arrow in the head will, but... Hmm. You over there, do you have an arrow in you? No, you're a new guy. I think I might run over to him. Run. Uh, drink. I'll have to buy some more water as well. <laughs> ah, let me guess. Body. I'm going to run out of arrows at this point. I'm just going to try running after this guy actually.
I just saw the little orange light over here but is it dead? No. Oh come on! I think that's a different guy. So I'm going to put a point on this track and then go try my luck with this guy up here. There's a pig up there. Maybe she'll be next. Right, I think I'm going to wait for this guy to charge at me and try and dodge out the way, but we'll see how this goes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You've got to be taking the piss. Get your bow out then. Oh, God's sake. It was too late now. Fucking hell, everything in this game is so fucking slow. Alright, I'm going to go after the other guy, the one I've hit twice. <laughs> Moan. Joe, before I started playing, my, my best mate said to me, Good luck with RNG, and I was like, oh no, I won't need it. There's nothing really RNG in this mission, other than maybe the game hiding one of the species. Oh. There. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking jinxed myself, didn't I? Yeah, I thought, if I hide behind that tree... He'll run past the tree and give me a really close range broadside shot on his lungs, but nope. And then of course I get back up with the after the first aid kit and I'm mashing my number two button to get out the bow. It's like the fourth or fifth button press gets it out. And then I'm mashing my button to draw the bow and Again, it's like the fourth or fifth one before it actually happens. Moan. Right. What what has this guy done here? This one says fleeing this way. And the next track's there. I mean it at least we're running in the right direction. <laughs> Silver lining and all of that. Now where? There. Oh. Come on then. Okay. I think that was too far forward again, but I mean, what the fuck? Body again. Da dun dun da dun. Da dun dun da dun. Da 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 da. Da, da, da. I won't die, no, da, da, da. fuck you, imp. <laughs> so I think part of the problem is I'm rushing the shots. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows, some people do. There's a Canadian bushcrafter I'm subscribed to on YouTube called Joe Robinette. And there was one bushcraft trip he went on it was the one for his 34th birthday he was trying to catch fish at the start of his trip and he was rush rushing the catch and constantly losing fish and uh, he lost fish like for a couple of days over and over and over again 
and then eventually slowed down and managed to get them. And this is reminding me of that. I I trying to rush the catch. I think. I have a feeling he's going to be close by now. I'm not seeing him in the water. There he is, he's up there. And it looks like he's still fleeing, annoyingly. Although he is now going across ways. So maybe he's just trotting. Oh yeah, he is still fleeing. Maybe he's slowing down because of blood loss, perhaps. I don't know if they would have programmed that in, but maybe. Going the wrong way now. Is that him? If it is, the little orange dots have fallen off. Can't tell. Because I know sometimes when they move out of render range, the the tracer arrows do fall off. <laughs> well, the the little orange lights sort of get left behind. It looks like this guy is running past that new one I've just spotted. So I might as well try my luck on this new one. Okay. Straighten up. There we go. And then dodge. Oh, come on. Oh, he's still there. That was in the nose. <laughs> I was trying to get under his head. Foxic. Is that a new one? Yeah. Fuck it. Let's go back after this one then. At least that gave this guy a chance to stop fleeing. I might even stop running for a bit and try and catch up. Oh. Okay, so who cares did a little video showing how to dodge these things, but I tried it just then and it didn't really work. Oh, come on! <laughs> Oh, and of course I'm out of arrows. Is he still charging at me? No. And is that a different one? Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this, because I fucking ain't. <laughs> no matter how hard I fucking try, they always manage to knock me over, even though I'm trying to dodge out the way. And all the fucking arrows do is body. Uh, I'm near the tributary, aren't I? I'm going to go to the tributary and give this guy a chance to stop fleeing. Uh. He actually fled this way? Is that him? Is he stuck in the trees? <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh. Wow! <laughs> I'm only gonna get one telling off by Doc, even though I've injured, like, a hundred fucking buffalo and from here I might as well run over to the tributary right oh then here we are at the tributary do I need to be exactly on the exclamation mark too deep too deep 
I'm not going swimming. There we go, there's the objective. Hmm. I was thinking I would try and go after some of them. I mean, now it doesn't matter. I can just take them out with the 405, but I'm not sure I can be bothered, to be honest. Ah, well, hopefully you had better luck at that objective than I did. I mean, I am a bit noobish, so, you know, some of you might be able to aim better when you're under pressure like that, but yeah. <laughs> I I might be able to if it wasn't for a mission, but once it's for a mission, yeah, my brain just goes, no, fuck you. <laughs> right, oh then, oh. I didn't mean to press that button either. See, look, brain. Right. I'll see you probably at Dog's secret spot. Okay. There are a couple of Rusados. Now, I would prefer Bucks. But the mission objective is fine with Doe's as well. So... Since they're there, I might as well use them. So I'm going to do Roots of the Tree lying on again. Maybe not that tree. <laughs> that one, possibly. And, uh, yeah, try and get them over. Yeah, I'm going to do a call over there and then lie on that. Uh, route there. Plan. And then hopefully that will give me a reasonably good broadside shot on these things. Distance. Yeah. Okay. They're close so they won't take long. <laughs> okay. That's the guy I hit in the nose. So I'm going to bow this rooster and then probably finish him off with the 405. Assuming I can find him again. Oh. All these buffalo, all these buffalo walking around with little lights attached to them. Oh god! Well, they should have fucking died easier, shouldn't they? Oh, there's one already there-ish. There. -ish. there. Okay. Please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me. Hey! Now, is she gonna spook those buffalo or. I think the buffalo are now further that way. I didn't see it go any further. Mm, okay. Right, so this will be the rooster objective. Yeah, I think other than obviously the goose and the water buffalo that I've just done, objective, the other hard one is going to be the Bantang. And that's because unlike the buffalo, you can't just run around the map waiting to find them because they are actually skittish. Uh, but unlike the other stuff, they have no lure. So, yeah, they're going to be quite difficult, that one, I think. Right, anyway, so... Potentially see you up there, but... It's possible I might come across something else in the meantime. A female Bantang! There. Mm, there, ish. 
close enough. Right, let's see if we can bag us a Banteng cow with a bow. How's the spray? Spray's good. Multiple Banteng. Oh. Right, right there, right there. No! For Pete's sake. Those bloody Banteng, man. That's not the first video where they've seen me and half a second later they're fleeing already. Is that... Is that intentional? I mean, I'm in full tropical camo. My spray's on. And yet, even through foliage, they'll flee within, like, a few tenths of a second. It's insane. It sort of makes me think they're glitched, you know. Bugged, I mean. I mean, other than crawling along and then never catching up with them, what, what more can I do than crouch walk? It's insane. Ooh. Okay. I'll settle for a hog ball. Where do I want to put him? Definitely need a broadside on him. I'm going to use again the uh, the roots of that tree over there. Not that it's that tree again, but I mean, again use the the roots of a tree. Hog squeal. Okay, let's put him up here. Right, oh well then I'm set up on the route. I called over there. Let's wait for him to come along, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to be on this route instead. Jeez, it's closer than I thought. Please don't see me, please don't see me. Eeh. Right, if that's not lungs, that's definitely intestines. And I heard a brrr. Oh. Never mind. Yeah, that hog is definitely going down from that shot. <laughs> Oh, long shot, cool. A few meters later. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he didn't get far at all. Right then, 7.10. Meh, but, I mean a male at least, unlike the rooster. <laughs> right. I can't remember the kind of sound I just heard, or whether that was a banting or not. So I'm going to go investigate, and I'll either see you when I find one, or over at Dog's secret spot. A few more meters later. Okay, as you can see on the mini map there, I'm not far away from where I just bagged that hog, and the rings dissipating there is a banting cow. So, I'm going to crawl towards her. If she spots me and flees within three tenths of a second, like they all have been, I'm probably going to file a ticket about it being a bug. Because it does seem a bit excessive. I mean, these Banteng are the second biggest animal in the game. Maybe maybe the bison are in their third, but, you know, they're pretty large, and yet they're more skittish than a fucking puma. And yeah, that's right, I'm British, I say puma. Pew, puma. I should have put a dot on the map, really, where the rings were, although I'm not particularly high with tracking, so 
they may not be accurate. They might not be accurate. That's how that word's pronounced. Just going to hope for some other audio clue. Or to spot her, of course. <laughs> See, when they're moving away from you, you can't crawl behind them. You have to crouch walk. But they see you like that. Oh. Okay, dot it this time. Nope, bit further. Hmm... Okay, that'll do. Oh, come on! <coughs> that really is horse crap. She was behind that bush. She must have been there. Saw me through the bush wearing the camo. She's fucking orange and I couldn't see her through the bush. Really? Really? So I can't see her, but she can see me. Really? Sorry. Moan. <coughs> fucking Banteng, man. <coughs> Look who I just saw after the. Banteng ran away. I looked to the right and here's Rudolph the orange nosed buffalo. Finished him off with the 405. Right then. Dog has got his back in his spot. Any second now. Hmm. Quack, quack. Right, come on in. Objective. Please. We are meant to go to dog speed secret spot, aren't we? Already ticked. Ah, uh, there we go. Right. Fast travel there. Walk about 300 metres that way, and then fast travel there. <laughs> I'll see you at uh, the pocket. Okie dokie then. I'm in the golden tree stand. Hmm. So I did see one over here. Whose antlers were all black. And... Either he's walked out of uh, walked out of range of the urine spray, or he's fallen asleep. So urine spray down there. What? Okay. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, and the reason I'm here, by the way, so I fast travelled to this tent instead, and I decided to do these uh, tree stands for sambar deer. So the question is, do I wait for the the one the bigger one that I saw over here that was literally there? I can't quite tell where he went though, but I think he went that way behind the tree. So it's possible he's coming back. But like I said, it's also possible he's walked out of range or he's fallen asleep. So Okay, whatever. It 
So I am going to stay here for a little while. In case a bigger one does turn up. Anyway, I'll bring you back when I get to that guy's body. But I am going to wait here for a while. Okay, here's the Samba <laughs> Here's not... Oh yeah, it is a Samba Stag. Yeah, cool. I saw that other footprint next to it and didn't think it was the same guy. Now that footprint looks like it's a hog. There we go, objective done. Now, I stayed in the tree stand for a little while. I did another spray. I've only got one left now. The big guy that I saw when I was coming over didn't come back. Again, I think he's asleep sort of over here-ish, I reckon. But uh, I'm now going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to walk to the pocket and then fast travel there. So, uh, I'm going to go around and pick up the rest of the sandbar because there was a doe and another two stags came over. No, a hind and two stags, sorry. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go pick them up and I'll see you in a bit. Okie dokie, arriving at the pocket. Uh, never did find that big sandbar stag, by the way. Another herd did come in. I used up the last one of the uh, the urine spray to lure them over. I was hoping it would be the herd with the big stag in it and they were just asleep and had just woken up, but no, it wasn't them. Sad face. Uh, right, that's why I'm opening the map, because I want to fast travel. Here we go. Wouldn't it be funny if he's here? Although, I doubt it, but it would be funny. Alright then, I'll see you up at the plateau. A few meters later. Okay, welcome back. I'm here. <laughs> oh, gone up there. So, uh, from about there, I saw a Bantang up here. Now, as if Bantang aren't bloody skittish enough, this one was surrounded by a herd of sambar deer. So I've made sure I've sprayed up and now I'm crawling along the floor like a worm. Just thought I'd let you know that that's what I'm doing. What's that over there? Oh, it was a thing. Is it a hog behind a fern? Yeah, it is. So, the red dot on the map is the last place I saw this banting. Now, it was walking away, it walked up the slope. So, it might be miles away by now, but... It seems that every time I get... Like, I think I'm following them, it turns out that they've stopped and they can see me through a bush. <laughs> so, it's possible that it is actually somewhere nearby stationary. Some crawling letter. There we go, Bantag mail. Went that ish way. So I went on the the hunter forums just now. It seemed there are quite a few people complaining about how skittish the Bantang are. I mean how am I supposed to track this guy? I can't even there we go. His next track's there. Precisely 6 hours, 17 minutes, and 45 and a third seconds later. Okay, I don't know if it's the same one. It is a bull, and it's asleep. So... <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever seen a sleeping Bantang before. Okay, about there. <coughs> I know there was a sleeping sandbar in that direction, but I think that was a Bantang cow. Okay, let's go get 
this guy's blood. The red dot, by the way, was a uh, Banten cow call. Blood? Blood. Promoted! Oh, it is him. Hooray. And it's intestines, so he's definitely going to go down. Awesome. Um... Is that the same Banteng? It might be, you know. That would be bizarre if it was. Oh. I think he's just let down. Is he let down because he's dying or because he's going to sleep? How close am I now? Okay, so I'm going to start crawling and then throw an arrow at that one as well. Unless it's the same guy, in which case he's going to get two. But, you know. <laughs> if it's not the same guy, I get another chance of completing the mission. And if it is, then I get a chance of completing it quicker, I suppose. <laughs> no spotting info. No spotting info. Does that mean he's dead? Right, I don't know how well I can do a 50 meter shot, but... <laughs> Not very well. Oh! I think that one... I think he was alive. That one actually hit him in the... Yeah, and it is him, I think. Oh no, that's just a dead animal track, isn't it? All right, well, it's dead. Let's run over. <laughs> Let's see. I think it is, you know. It is. 110, meh, but there you go, objective! Right, I'm going to run to the plateau, and then other than the magpie goose, it's just the lodge. Fine, whatever. Right, I'll see you at the plateau. Right then, the plateau! The Plateau. Right. I won't be throwing myself off the uh, cliff today. There's the objective. Right. Let's get the cicade. Oh, shit. Lighthouse. I will be throwing myself off. I thought it was just the cove to go. But no. Lighthouse. Okay. Wee. Ow! Oh! Ah! E ooh, ah! E ow! Ow! E ah! Or better! Right! <laughs> See you at the lighthouse! I have arrived at St. Paulie's lighthouse. No charging buffaloes. I ran all that way. Let's wait for the objective and then fast travel to the lodge. There's the objective, let's fast travel to the lodge. <laughs> We're at the lodge. And there's the objective. So, just the goose left then. Airborne goose with a traditional bow. Right, I'm done for today because, as you can see by the hunter mate, I've been sat here for a few hours. I mean, I've been moving around and stuff, but that's about as long as I can play. So I'm going to take a rest. Excuse me, stretching and yawning. Uh, yeah, and then I'll, I'll get back to the geese tomorrow. Although for you, in a second. <laughs> 
Isn't time travel great? Okay. So, I said earlier that I think this was the setup that I did the goose one at, where I had to kill one with a compound bow. Now, I actually think I had to move the blind, and I think it was either here or on this little bit of land there. I'm not entirely sure. So, I'll have to see how it goes, but yeah, I think... I think it was actually a bit further away than the decoys. So we'll see. Uh, also, I've decided to bring along a shotgun so that if they land around me, but you know, they don't give me the opportunity to bow them because they're not coming directly at me, then I can do my flush whistle and then, you know, bang away at a few. Earn some GMs, why not? Aye, so, wish me luck. A flock. See if we can get any to break. This is the second flock that's flown over. It seems that with all the waterfowl... Oh, we got some to break. That the first flock never breaks. Don't know why. Never seems to. Okay, so if I remember right, I need to do the short range caller now. And then go to the bow. You're going to land too, too, clo uh, too far away, I mean. And the rest have all landed over there. Am I hearing a new... Yeah. A new flock, I think. Oh. I might actually try with that one that's landed nearby. I might flush whistle. Yeah, they didn't break. Okay, I'll flush whistle and see if it comes this way. Actually... That should make it swim this way. What? What? What's going on there? He? He's not swimming. He's walking on the bottom. <laughs> okay. And the short-range caller has done nothing. Yeah, the short-range caller normally lures them over even when they're on the on the uh, floor, on the ground, on the water, on the surface. I don't get it. Oh well. Good job I brought the shotgun then, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, well, attempt number one was a failure. <laughs> Another flock of four. So this is the third flock now that's been a flock of four. And we've had two break, three break, all four are broke. Okay. So I'm going to try and use the short range when I see them gliding into land there. That one looks a bit better. That one looks a bit better. Ah. He he didn't he didn't fly away. I'm gonna get another shot at him, possibly. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Um, devs, they're not... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no, he turned. He was facing towards me. Um, he's facing towards me. <whistles> nope. Worth a try. See if I can get one. I got one. 
Oh, see if I can get more than one. Ah, right, well, there we go. <laughs> right, let's see if these guys break. Flappy, flappy, Mr. Gooses! Come down here, I promise not to hurt you! Most, mostly because I'll miss! <laughs> ah. Oh! One! We got, we got one! Okay. I mean, better than none, obviously, but... Uh, let's see... He's going round to the left. So... Now. I think he's going to land too far... Too far away. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, it wasn't a million miles away, was it? Okay, let's, uh... Damn it, damn it, damn it. That way, that way. Come on! Fuck's sake. Oh no, you can't draw an arrow after you've just turned around. Look, look, I'm, I'm pre... Uh. Moan. Oh well, there we go. Two more arrows gone. Right, three geese have broken off from this flock. And... Now, I think. They're all going far too far to the right. Oh, oh, hang on. Put the fucking thing away. There's more over there. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> What? And, and that didn't spook him! That didn't spook him! That did! <laughs> like I said, might as well get some GMs. That was, that was shit. That was even shitter. I, my adrenaline's <laughs> kicking in because I managed to get that bokeh up there. Fuck it, anyway. anyway. Right. I, I wonder which one it'll be! <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting to hit them this soon. I was expecting to take all evening. Yes! Yes! Right, now, the reason I'm getting excited about that, and some of you have probably figured it out yourself, no available missions. I have once again finished them all. Right, so the big test now, of course, for my YouTube channel is can I come up with my own content? Now, I have some plans, so I'm pretty sure I can. Three and a half, okay, and uh, yeah, I, I think I'll be alright, but we'll see. <laughs> right, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you got some enjoyment out of it, and hopefully if you were needing some help with this mission, it might give you some pointers, perhaps. There's a little bit of timing involved in when you blow on the short-range caller. Um, it, it's kind of just a lot of trial and error, though, really. I mean, like I said, I wasn't expecting to actually hit one this soon. As the saying goes, you throw enough mud at the wall and eventually some of it will stick. <laughs> It's kind of the same with trying to bow a goose. Don't expect to get it on your first two or three, you know. 
sometimes it can take like 10 12 15 arrows before you actually get it but some people like who cares for example can just do it on a whim you know like, like i want to make a video showing how to do it and then he does it on his first attempt but unfortunately that's not me so that'll be the end of this video so thank you again and goodbye